You know, there is a big difference between coming out of the closet and coming into the light. I mean, the idea of being in the closet in the first place is that we're ashamed of who we are. We're hiding who we are. And what the world tells us is, no, come out of the closet because you are okay just the way you are. But what God tells us is to come into the light. When we come into the light, we deal with shame God's way so that it doesn't have power over us anymore. Well, if there are areas in your life where you still like to keep things hidden, things that you're just not proud of, or, or maybe even a sin from a long time ago that you know you are forgiven from, but you still battle those feelings of shame. We're going to talk about that today and how you can break free from shame. But first, this channel exists to help you engage the Holy Spirit in the Word of God so that your faith comes alive. If that's something that's interesting to you, then please hit the subscribe button. Hebrews chapter 12 paints a picture for us of what the, our life free from shame is supposed to look like. It says, starting in verse 1, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. There are a couple different ways that sin clings to us. Obviously, we can be in bondage to sin where we just can't stop doing what we know is wrong or we can't do what we know is right. But I think there's also this kind of hidden way that we don't consider uh, a sin clinging to us but holds so many of us back. And that is this idea of shame. And so many believers that I know, even decades after they have been forgiven from sin and set free from the bondage of that sin. Maybe they haven't participated in that sin for decades, and yet the shame of, of that still bothers them. It's like the devil is holding it over their head, and it's this weight that they still carry. And God wants us to be free from that too, not just the sin and, and the bondage of sin, but the shame that comes from sin. He wants us to be able to run our race free. God's way of dealing with sin and consequently shame in our life begins with conviction. Conviction in our Western culture has this connotation of being pronounced guilty, like in a courtroom setting, and it actually brings shame because it kind of then identifies that person as a convict. But in the Bible, conviction is actually a good thing. It's the way that the Lord communicates with us and makes us more like Him. Conviction lets us know that we need to come to God and be transformed so that we can do better next time. When we feel conviction, the correct way to respond to it is to admit our guilt. I did something wrong. Express regret. I'm sorry I did that and then repent, which means to change our direction, basically means I will not do that again. That's the correct way to respond to the conviction of the Holy Spirit. You see, whereas conviction leads us to say, I did something wrong, shame leaves us with this feeling that I'm a mistake. I didn't make a mistake, I am a mistake. Like God made a mistake when he made me somehow. I mean, shame at its core puts the attention on us, not on Jesus and what he did for us, but on us and our own shortcomings. Almost as if God's solution for sin doesn't totally work for me. So what do we do when we feel that shame? We hide. We withdraw. We put up walls. We go into the closet, so to speak. And when the opportunity comes to do something great for God, to run our race, to put God's glory on display, we shrink back because we're so afraid of what might get revealed. So how do you break free from shame? Well, come into the light. Let's deal with sin God's way. And here is the word that the Lord gave me that personally helped me to break free from shame in my life. And that is that there's only one place shame belongs, and that's on the cross. Jesus didn't just take care of our sin. He took care of our shame. 
In the passage I read at the beginning, Hebrews chapter 12, it says that for the joy set before him, he endured the cross, despising the shame. Jesus didn't internalize the shame of the cross and the sin that was laid upon him, our sin. He dealt with it. He set us free from it. So you have a choice right now. Will you internalize your shame and hide it from everyone and even God? Or will you allow the Holy Spirit to bring it out into the light and put it where it belongs? On the cross with Jesus where he died for our sins so that we could be free from our sin. And not only that, so that we could break free from shame. Let me pray for you. Holy Spirit, I thank you that you don't do your job halfway. That when we confess our sin to you, Jesus, you are faithful and you are just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us, Lord God, so that we don't have to carry the weight of that sin and that shame anymore. Jesus, I pray that that reality would come home to everyone listening to this video and watching this video right now, Lord God, that they can be set free from their shame, Lord, that by admitting that, yeah, yeah, I messed up, I'm, I wasn't all right, I wasn't okay, I, I did something that was against God, that was against his commandments, but I'm bringing it into the light. I, I'm confessing, I'm agreeing with you, God, admitting I did something wrong. Lord, Lord, I'm sorry that I did that, and I don't want to do it again. Lord, by responding to your conviction and our sin that way, Lord, we believe that you totally cleanse us, Lord. That you take our sin and you throw it away as far as the east is from the west, Lord God. Would that reality come home to us today? And would every place in our heart where we've hidden shame, Lord God, where the enemy still tries to, to poke us, Lord God, and to hold things over our head, Lord God, where we still wear that weight of a sin that has been long forgiven, Lord God. Would you reveal that? Would you bring it into the light, Lord God? And would you set people free right now from that shame? In Jesus' name, Lord, we love you. Amen.